Now that we finally know the layout of our new 300 square foot apartment, it's time to do some planning and I thought in this video I would walk you through how I go about designing my small space and a lot of you have been asking why we would be downsizing from this three bedroom apartment that we're in now to a studio apartment and we're gonna talk about that today as we go through the video. Thank you Nord Green for sponsoring today's video. By using the code THESCD at checkout, you can get an additional 15% off your purchase. Today's comment of the day is all about being gracious to yourself whenever a makeover or a home project takes longer than expected because we're all real people, we have real jobs, it's okay if it takes longer than it does on TV. And our TSD project spotlight goes out to this DIY headboard. She took the inspiration from our $23 cardboard recycled headboard and transformed her space. It looks so good. And if you want to share any of your suitcase designer projects with me, you can tag me on Instagram at the suitcase designer. I thought it would be fun if we actually sketch out the new apartment. I don't know the specific dimensions, but I know enough to know what's going to fit and what's not going to fit. By the end of the video, I want to have a firm design plan so that we can move forward in our packing process. Because we're moving from this to this, we have a lot of tough decisions to make today on what's going to come with us and what's going to be sold. The clock is ticking and we are moving out very soon and <laughs> the house is still pretty much intact. So when you are planning a move to a small space, I always start with the essentials, what I absolutely have to take with me. So what are the essentials that are going to fit in our small space? For one, we have our bed. Not this specific bed, but a bed. More on that later. We don't have many essentials in a small apartment. The sofa, but not the full sofa. We're gonna go with just the original Ikea sofa. DIY sofa was so important to help get us through the pandemic. This is the original Ikea sofa, which has been run down by our little kitty who runs like a fierce tiger across it at night and scratches it and destroys it. Okay, let's take a moment to embrace the sunset because we're not gonna have many more of these. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna miss it. This window's cleaner, I think. Oh, oh my gosh. Speaking of changing views, we are going to need a curtain setup, though not this one. I really like this layered curtain that we have going on and the curtain rod, though I don't quite know if this one's going to fit in the new space, but we'll take two of them, see which one works. Izzy's essentials are her litter boxes. We only have space for one, so it's probably going to be this one. This is also an absolute essential if you live in Asia. Other than that, I think it's just like kitchen essentials. So we have our Ninja. I love this, and this is definitely coming with me. Tea kettle is coming too. Our little espresso machine. Please don't judge me by the state of my juicer. It's very old, it's lasted me so long. Juicer is coming, we use that weekly. And then our crock pot. Our kitchen's so small, we're definitely gonna be using the crock pot weekly. Non-essentials. But we do not have room for this, so this isn't going. But that's not coming with us. One of these benches will probably not go with us. Refrigerator is not an essential. This giant shelf is not essential. Washing machine, also not essential. Bookshelf, not essential. Filing cabinets, not essential. Babe, I know you love this thing and I hate it, but this table is not essential so at all. So useful and practical. It's not essential, we're getting rid of that. And your desk, sorry. Your chair is going too, that's not essential. You can't have a cat tower anymore, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we're all downsizing. I'm Izzy, don't be a bitch. We all have to cut back, okay? No, you cannot trick me into saying yes. We're all downsizing. It's gonna be hard on all of us for a little bit. You can do it. You can do it, yeah. A lot of these things aren't going with us because they're built into the studio apartment. The interior is just the best I've ever seen in a studio apartment here. I'm so excited to share it with you. This is all the stuff that's built in. As you go down here, you have the bathroom. It's pretty standard for all of the bathrooms we've ever lived in. We have a Western shower. On the other side of the hall, we have a mirror. Down here, we have our built-in kitchen. We do have two burners for a cooktop. We have a small prep space, a sink, 
and a built-in fridge. Down here we have a desk area. Above we have built-in bookshelves and we have some storage even underneath. Here we have our three closets. One, two, and three. That's gonna be a big challenge for us. And then we have a giant window with moderately good view. That's all of the essentials and everything that's built into our house. That stuff is kind of boring, I understand. But now for the fun design stuff. Before we do that, I wanna tell you about Nordgreen. I'm so happy to share Nordgreen as our video sponsor today. Nordgreen is a Danish company that creates the most beautiful minimalist style watches that can be easily interchanged with a wide variety of straps. I chose the infinity style watch in the silver mesh and the vegan leather because they go with absolutely everything in my closet. Not only do they create quality watches, with each purchase, you're supporting a brand that's on a mission to create more sustainable industry practices through their give back program and sustainability initiatives like sustainable packaging. They aren't using that toxic foam that most jewelry is packaged in, carbon neutral shipping and responsible manufacturing. With every watched purchase, you, the consumer, get to take action along with Nordgreen through their give back program. By using the serial and identification number provided with each watch, you can choose which program you'd like to give back to. And this is at no extra cost to you. I chose to give back a portion of my watch to their environmental efforts because I see firsthand through the air pollution here in Korea just how much we're damaging the planet. What I love most and what I want to support most is when I see brands that are creating change and shaking up the traditional ways of doing business. I will never encourage you to buy something you don't need, but if you're looking for a classic gift for someone special for Valentine's Day, check out Nordgreen. Through their Share the Love campaign, you can gift your loved one or maybe even yourself very sexy minimalist watch that's made perfect for any occasion it's time that we start demanding more from the brands we shop with and that we be truly intentional about the brands we do support nordgreen has gift bundles that include a watch and additional straps for 20 percent off and by using our special tsd code you can get an additional 15 percent off your purchase while also giving back to a cause of your choice you can use the code the SCD at checkout for 15% off. But now for the part you've really been waiting for, the fun design stuff. So part of not having the exact dimensions of the space means I'm not really sure what rugs are going to fit in the space. So we're just going to take them all and then we can get rid of them if we need to later. This rug is actually pretty new. So this one is definitely coming with us. So I have my doubts about whether or not it's going to fit. The mirror is also going to come with us. I bought this for this new studio apartment anyways. It's too small for this apartment, but it's going to fit perfectly in the next one. We're also going to take this large painting with us. We're definitely taking this one with us. I love this chair. I mean, can we just take a moment? I mean, let's just give this chair a moment with that background. Oh my gosh. Look, sexy black chair definitely coming with us. This rug will also come with us because if this one doesn't fit, this one will. This is where it gets to be a little bit excessive, so I'm gonna take more than I need in this space, but that's because I wanna experiment. Little side table is coming with us. This fun little side table is coming with us. Our living room's kind of messy now, sorry. One of these benches is going to come with us as well. Izzy really likes this one, so that one might come. I like the fluffy nature of it. Both of these stools are going to come with us too. I just want to have some flexibility in my design. And then one more piece. I've had this rug since I moved into this house. I love it. And though I don't want to use it in the design of the next face, this rug is probably the only thing that I care to take with me to leave in our forever home. I love this rug. It makes me really happy. It's full of so many memories. It makes me feel emotional whenever I talk about it. And you shouldn't feel that way when you talk about a rug, but I love it. I'm probably going to roll it up and leave it under our bed, but it's coming with me and it's going to our forever home later. I'm also going to take this rug. The bathrooms in Korea really don't change size. When you're dealing with these modern like, high-rise apartments, our next one is just a little bit different, but it's pretty much the exact same size as our master bathroom right now. So I'm just gonna take the rug with me. White bedding, I have the expat, or just even as somebody living in the city where you have to change apartments every year or two, white bedding goes with everything. It mixes into whatever interior of your new space is. It always has a luxurious hotel vibe to it. I just love white bedding. 
I don't have a lot of design pieces I'm going to take with me, but I am really fond of this vase. I've had this for three or four years. I love this, so I'm gonna take that with me. And then books, and more books, and more books. In a small space or if you live overseas, it's important to identify what are the pieces that make you feel at home. Or if you have one thing that you like to collect, pick one thing and not 50 different things. And for us, that is books. We love having our books in our home and no matter how big or small our home is, without our books, it's not our home. So the books are coming even though it's gonna be a challenge to store them. The two plants are coming to add some life to the space. I'm also really fond of that head statue. And then my easel, I will take that, but it's very compact. I can break it down and store it whenever I need to. And a couple other hard passes that we have are our lamps. I really like these from the DIY video, but our new contract specifically talks about damages and I don't think I'll be able to get away with the screws in the ceiling. So those are going to unfortunately not come with us, but we're not taking this, right? We're not taking this. We're not taking the TV and it's not because we don't have enough space. When I move into a new space, I like to ask myself, what is the intention of this space? And during these last two years in this house, we wanted to nest. We had been living in a studio apartment for years before and traveling. And especially during the pandemic, we wanted to just feel at home and we wanted a way to mentally escape and we bought our very first TV. In the next house, that's not at all the direction that we're going in life. What exactly are our intentions with the move? It's no secret that Jackson and I have been ready to make our exit from Korea for a while now. With the pandemic and plans changing this year, it will almost be four years since we've been able to see our families, which was never our intention in the first place. Going back to America to see our families is our top priority for this next year and eventually we still want to settle down in Amsterdam but it's not really the best time to move or travel internationally right now so you could kind of say that part of moving into a studio apartment is helping us get one foot out the door because our rent is half the price of what we're paying now and because we're moving into office till the lease is a lot shorter than if we were to re-sign in the apartment that we're in right now by also downsizing we're getting rid of a lot of the stuff that we have here that we would never move with internationally in the first place really you could say it gives us two things freedom and flexibility those are more of our practical reasons and i mean they're also kind of emotional too but our emotional and goal oriented reasons are we want the studio apartment to be sort of our mission control center where we really are able to focus in on our businesses and focus on growing those this next year it's been our dream since we first moved overseas in 2014 that one day when we leave Korea, we are full-blown entrepreneurs and we haven't succeeded in that yet. Our intentions going into the studio apartment is not to lead a very comfortable life. We want this studio to be a space where we expand our creativity, where at night, rather than watching a show, we grab a book and Jackson plays music. We want to use this space to zone in on becoming the best versions of ourselves and growing our businesses. I started this channel after finally getting the courage to quit the job that I hated. Thank you so much for believing in what the brand stands for, for recommending this to your friends. All of your support and interactions with the channel has helped it to grow so quickly and it's because of you that we're now able to take this leap to quit our jobs and to go full-time with growing this business. So here it is. This is a very basic idea of the design layout for the space. We really just have a sofa, a bed, a coffee table, and one of our many rugs. We have the basic layout down, so I think that just means that we've got to start packing. 